So the other day, Josh Evans released a video threatening to expose Colleen Ballinger, Shane Dawson, and Trisha Paytas. But it looks like he has changed his mind and Shane Dawson even reached out to him. And there's so much that we can learn from this entire situation, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them because what good is watching all this stuff go on if we can't relate it to our own lives and try to improve them? So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, and real quick announcement for those of you who don't know, my brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture is out now. So check out the description, check out the pinned comment below. Uh, there is a free version of the ebook available until the end of the month. So make sure that you grab your copy. There's also an audiobook if that's what you prefer. I personally like audiobooks. I like to listen while I drive. And also, by the way, real quick, real quick, over on Spotify, over on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts, I'm trying to get on more. I have my own podcast. It's called A Different Lens. I'm doing daily podcasts. So make sure you check that out. That'll be down in the description too. All right, anyways, let's jump into this thing. So yeah, if you haven't seen yet, watch my last video about uh, Josh Evans. He has since deleted that video. So I wanna say right now, like please, for the love of God, if you're watching this video, if you're, if you're here, like learn from this situation. Like I cannot express how proud I am of this dude, Josh, like my man, Josh, like, this is huge. So anyways, um, he just released his new video and he discusses how, you know, he, you know, took down his other video and he changed his mind. He's not gonna do that. So like, here's the thing, like, so many of us can relate to this. And, you know, when he released his first video, I'm like, okay, like, this is just like a warm up video. Like he labeled it part one. I'm like, maybe he's gonna change his mind, right? Because he could have just come out and did it all and just released this whole thing. But I don't know, maybe a part of him knew it was a bad idea, but so many of us do this. Like when we let our emotions dictate our actions, it gets us into trouble, all right? This is why we need to work on our mental health and regulate our emotions because it can lead us to doing bad things. So like, uh, like Josh, like thank God, you know, he made that kind of warm up video before the actual video and he was able to, decompress and change his mind. Like, I can relate to that so much. Like, pff, boy, can I relate to that. But I wish I had, you know, uh, <laughs> the ability that Josh did. Like, if you read my book, Canceled, or if you've been around for a while, I made a video a while back in a hotel room at about, I don't know, two in the morning, released it, deleted it the next day. It wasn't good. I talk about that in the book, right? And I wish I would have given it time, but like, a lot of us do this so much, like when we're feeling depressed and we're just feeling hurt and Josh opened up about, you know, his parents splitting up and he got really vulnerable and everything like that. And um, in my opinion, I don't think he's playing the victim or anything like that. Like, it's just things that we go through and that's what happens. And it's not a valid excuse for certain behaviors, but we need to understand like people are going through stuff. And something that I learned a long time ago, especially reflecting on who I used to be, because I used to be a real dick, but hurt people hurt people. And that's what Josh was talking about. Like, and I really hope one of the lessons that everybody can take away from this is just realize the people in your life who are hurting you, or even the strangers online who are hurting you, just know they are probably going through something. All right, no, this does not give a good reason for somebody to say terrible things to you on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is, that's not a good reason. But I just want you to look at Josh's situation and understand a lot of people are going through situations like that and they lash out online. Like that's something that keeps me sane on this platform. When I get hate comments, when people make videos about me and all these other things, like I'm like, this person is probably hurting. You know what I mean? This person has something going on in their life. And sometimes my emotions get the best of me, but when I'm able to pause and even just take a few breaths, I'm like, you know what? This person is probably hurting. Because most of my life, I was hurting. 
And I'm so glad that like, I don't know, there's no <laughs> public records of the awful person I used to be. Like I hurt and I wanted everybody else to hurt too, right? And I was just such a dick online, right? And that's why I empathize with people who come after me and hate on me and troll me, right? I'm like, okay, like you're probably hurting just as bad as I was. But anyways, so Josh's situation when he made that first video, which he ended up taking down, here's my suggestion, okay? And this is something that I'm still actively working on, but I'm a lot better at it than I used to be, and it's this. When you are feeling some type of way, whether it's depression or anger or whatever it is, and you're about to make a decision, this is why we need a support group so we can bounce that idea off of somebody, right? When we're gonna do something, we should ask somebody else and say, hey, does this seem like a good idea? You know what I mean? And it seems like Josh had those people afterwards, but not before. And this is something that I've had to do many times. That video that I mentioned, the video that I mentioned that I deleted, I didn't have people around. I was out of town and I just you know, went off emotions, right? But 99% of the time, like you guys, there are so many videos that I've ref I, I, I haven't made because I asked other people, I asked my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, or a mentor of mine, or my therapist, or like a sponsor, like, or people who are in recovery too. I'm like, do you think this is a good idea, right? And like, you guys, if there's nothing else, if you've been zoned out this whole time, like, please, 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 pay attention to the part of Josh's video where he says like, the answer is never, ever, ever, ever to try to hurt somebody else. And this is something that makes me really sad about the YouTube community. Not all the YouTube community, but the community that I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of right now. There are a lot of commentary channels where they hold grudges and they try to make content as a way, as a weapon. You know what I mean? They're like, you know what? I don't like this person. I'm gonna make a video, right? And that's a sad way to live, man. It's a really sad way to live. Like, trust me, trust me. My feelings get hurt. I can be a sensitive mofo, right? And I check my motives before I make videos because I'm like, am I just trying to hurt this person? Do I want them to hurt? Do I wanna cause them harm? Because I learned over many, many years of my life, like that, it doesn't help. I mentioned that in my last video about Josh. Like, it seems like a good idea, right? And I don't have enough time in this video to explain to you the evolutionary psychology behind revenge. But there's a reason why we want revenge. There's a reason why we want other people to hurt, right? It actually makes us feel good. And let me know down in the comments if you want me to make a separate video or maybe talk about it in a podcast. But anyways, something I learned is that it's never the answer. I used to be the type of person, and maybe you can relate to this, where if somebody, you know, like got me, I wanted to get them 10 times worse, you know? And it never did me any favors, all right? So the last thing that we'll talk about is Josh mentions that Shane Dawson reached out to him and like, that's so cool. Shane Dawson is a good dude. Shane Dawson is one of the most legit dudes on the platform. Is he flawless? No, he's a human being like the rest of us. But the fact that Shane Dawson reached out to Josh you know, that's huge. And we may, you know, we may never know what that conversation was about, but maybe, you know, when Colleen and Josh went through that divorce, um, Shane might have, you know, inadvertently hurt Josh. You know what I mean? And this is why, like, I just really try to advocate for us to have conversations with each other, just talk to each other. I've been talking to so many people in DMs on Twitter and Instagram and things. Like, it is mind blowing how many times people hold grudges, like people hold grudges, like you see this with Josh, right? We hold grudges for months, for years, right? And it's all based on a misunderstanding. One of the worst cognitive distortions that we can have is being mind readers, right? We think we know what that other person is thinking. We think we know why they did exactly what they did, but we don't. We need to have conversations with people. We need to be grownups. We need to be adults. We need to just start talking to people. And this is something that kind of twists us YouTube creators. Like many of us YouTube creators, you look around. Look at all the back and forth response videos. It's like we don't even know how to have conversations anymore. We feel like we have to make these big exposed videos and everything like that and just like reply and everything. Like I, I do make an effort to reach out to any creator who has a problem with me 
most of them, 99% of them, won't have a conversation. A lot of them even, you know, tweet publicly because they won't talk to you in DMs. I was actually talking to another creator in DMs who was uh, coming at me on Twitter publicly, and I, I hit him up in the DMs. I'm like, dude, like, why don't you just talk to me privately? Because, like, that's kind of the day and age that we live in where people just want to, you know, expose each other. And it's just, it's sad, man. And it's just like, I accept that that's part of living in 2019 and that's like the culture we live in. But I really hope that all of you start having conversations with the, the people in your life and quit holding on to these grudges because it's just causing your own suffering. You know what I mean? If you have a problem with somebody, just talk to them about it, you know? Maybe you misunderstood their motives, their intentions. Maybe they didn't even realize they hurt you. You know what I mean? But anyways, like I'm super, super, super proud of Josh. I hope he doesn't leave. I'm, I'm really happy to hear that he's, you know, back in therapy and everything like that. It sounds like he's tried different things like maybe uh, neurofeedback or transcranial magnetic stimulation for his depression or whatever it is. But I don't know. I would love to see him talk more about that because I think he's helping a lot of people. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Make sure you check out the description and the pinned comment below. Go get your copy of my book, Cancelled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, and check out my podcast. I am doing daily podcasts, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who has bought a copy of Cancel or my other books like Rewire Your Anger, Rewire Your Anxiety. You are all amazing, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.